Good day, IPSJ students. This is May from the ICT department, and today we're going to discuss how you can create a very simple and creative website using the application Google Sites. Google Sites is one of the applications launched by Google that will help you to create a very simple and easy website to present your work. You can create a personal website that looks like a resume. You can create um, a small business website that you can launch for your small business and you can create one that represents your work throughout the whole year. In this case, we are creating an e-portfolio. So let's get started. Today, we're going to discuss how to create Google Sites, how to select a theme, how to add pages, how to change the banner, and how to add a description for your Google pages. Let's start with logging in to Google website. I already logged in using my email address. Okay, and then you are going to click on the application icon. In the, in the application icon, you will find different, different applications launched by Google. And in this case, we are going to use and select Google Sites. When you click on it, it will transfer you into this page. You can already see my uh, the IPSJ logo because I already logged in using my IPSJ email account. I would recommend that you go to new Google Sites. So one click on this, it will transfer you into a page that has ready-made templates from uh, Google that you can already use. Okay. So very simple, very neat and direct to the point. You can choose a blank one if you wish to create your own from the scratch or you can choose any of the ready-made templates you can see. So in this case, I'm going to choose portfolio. Portfolio looks very easy for me to use and it's about the student, it's about the personal uh, and you can add as many pages as you want for different subjects. Okay. So moving on to this page, as you can see, we have um, on the right side of the on the right side of the site, we have a banner that we're going to discuss, and we have tools over here you can discuss as well. So we are starting with themes. In this case, you can choose scroll down and up. You can choose different themes, and you can immediately see the application when you click on it. You can immediately see how it applies on the page. And inside the theme itself, you can choose different colors for this theme, as you can see. So let's see this one, okay? And I'm using this color, the green color, that looks nice for me, okay? So basically, this is the main page we are discussing. Okay, now moving on to the next tab, which is pages. These are the main pages that comes with the ready-made templates. So we have three pages over here. If you wish to delete some, you can do that. Just click on the three uh, dots on the right. You will find different options from hide, delete, add subpage, and different uh, properties. So I'm just going to delete all the other pages. I'm going to use the home page. Double click on the home page, and you can rename page I'll just call it about me and when you scroll down on this page you will find different layouts on how on things that you can add to your page so you can add your personal picture you can add your school picture you can add your name section grade etc so whatever you think represents you in a better way in about me I'm going to create a sub page uh, Sub page is called ICT. So in this page, I'm going to represent all my ICT work throughout the whole year in this page. I will add one more sub page. So let's say English. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to create these pages. Um, Arabic. Okay. So you can add as many subjects as you want, as many pages as you want to represent. So let's go back, let's say to the English. Um, page so English page looks blank so I'm going to themes I'm going to create a new theme for this page okay I'm just choosing this and then after creating the page choosing the theme that you want now you want to put data 
in this page. So we have to go to insert. Insert, you'll find images, text, Google Drive. Now this is the very cool thing about using Google Sites. If you have a ready-made um, documents, pictures, videos, anything that you already saved on your Google Drive, it's going to be very easy for you to access your Google Drive from here and immediately upload it with no other need to create or to open any other tabs or to open any other windows. So this is very easy. And then you have over here different layouts. So let's say I'm going to start with this layout. So just simply one click, it's going to be added. If you wish to remove it, just click on delete, choose another one. Uh, over here, you can duplicate it. You can select a background. You can play along with it to change, um, to change it according to what you think represents you in a very uh, creative way. So um, you can upload over here pictures. You can select from Google Drive, YouTube, calendar, so different places. Let's say uh, robotics. Us. Okay. And over here, let's say grade six CB, for example. Okay. And then you can add the picture or the video you want to create. Okay. So this is about layouts. Scrolling down. Uh, on the right banner, you will find more options that will allow you to even add more creativity to your site. So you can add charts. Let's say if you have statistics, if you um, if you want to add a mathematical uh, chart. So these are the Google Sheets that I have already. You can select one of them to create this chart. Okay. You can use forms, sheets, slides if you wish to add PowerPoint slides ready already on your computer you will just click on it and import it uh, you can add a button now i'll just call it click me for example and you are going to add a link for that so click me let's say if i click on this i'm already on the ic on the english page if i click on this i want to go to about me page and then i will click over here so when you click okay when you click on this, it will take you immediately to your main page, which is about me. So these are very cool features that you can use. You can use table of content. If you wish to add the table of content of your page to make it easier for uh, the viewer to see uh, quickly what data you have on your picture. So basically these are, this is um, themes, pages, and insert so i just go to pages one more time i just go to the main page double click on this um i want to create let's say different ways of banners so i like this banner mm. you can click here over me uh, about me and then you will see all the sub pages that you have if you wish to add a header you can do that you can choose the banner layout you want the title only banner to cover so it's up to you these are the options that you can have left right center the title you can make it bold italic up to your choices one more feature you can use is the preview icon. So when you click on this icon, it will show you how it's going to look like for any viewer. So for example, when you send the, your teacher the link of your Google site, this is how your teacher is going to see your work. Okay, so if I click on ICT, I'll just get a blank page because I did not do anything. If I click on English, okay, so this is what I get. Okay, so this preview is exactly how your teacher is going to see it. So it will give you a general look on what things you need to change and what things you need to keep. So basically, this is how to create a very simple and creative website using Google Site application. I hope you liked the video and everything was simple and clear for you. We can't wait to see all your creativity in creating your own e-portfolio. Stay safe and be creative. Have a good day.